So hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is only my second ever video and the first one we can actually see my face. So I apologise if the lighting's not right or if I'm looking over here, over there, you know, just until I try and get used to it. So I'm one of Make Me Up Mrs. Patreons and I had asked on the WhatsApp group what people wanted me to do for this video and a few people had mentioned the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin. So I thought that that's what I would do. A wee look on that. I have used it once before and I did a blue look so if I can figure out how I'll try and put a picture up here somewhere of the blue look that I did. It is on my Instagram which is Eve as well. So here's what is the inside of the palette, what it looks like. It's really nice. The shimmers in here are lovely. So I'm just going to do some swatches just so that you can see what some of the colours look like. So that is the top row. I'm not going to do them on my arm just because it makes a mess. Then we have the second row. So this matte is actually funny. It looks quite different on the eyes to what it does even when you swatch it. But there's some of the other colours. The shimmers in here are lovely. They're a really, really nice formula and I've been really enjoying using them. So here's another four of the colours. That blue is just lovely. That shimmer is gorgeous as well and then the final row we have a couple more colors so again this the blues in here are lovely this shimmer is incredible this is a kind of really unique kind of dark color with a kind of bluey undertone so if you want to see how i did this look then just please keep on watching so now we're just going to get started with actually using the palette and showing you how it works on my eyes. So I'm starting off with a Morphe unnamed brush. It was from the Eye Obsessed set, I believe. And I'm first going to take the lightest colour, um, transition colour. I like to do this first just so that I've got something to blend into. So I'm just going to take a wee bit of that. I'm just going to hold up my neck. I mean, to be honest, this doesn't show up that much, but I've noticed with a few of the colours on this palette, they show up slightly different to what they look in the pan. So it kind of looks a wee bit more pinky than it does in the pan. It looks a wee bit more kind of nude coloured in the pan. So I'm just going to pop this just up here, just roughly, just to give something to blend into. It's just the way that I like to do it. And then I'm going to take another brush this probably a morphe 506 and i'm just going to take this kind of dark well kind of the medium brown that's in the palette and i'm going to pop this in the crease now i must say this color comes out i don't know if you can see that a lot more kind of plum than it looks in the pan but i'm just going to pop that down i think we're going to go for a kind of rounded shape um, today I've been really enjoying doing that shape lately so I'm just blending that into the crease I'm just putting some on the inner corner because I think we're going to do a wee halo so some in here from an outer corner and just blend that up into the kind of rounded shape. Now I do have um, pretty hooded eyes so that's why you'll see me raising my brow up quite a lot just so that I can actually get in and get it blended and see how it's looking. So I'm wanting to take this kind of above my crease so that you can see it when my eye is open. Now that's on, I'm going back in with that other Morphe brush, taking a bit of the lighter colour and just blending that. back in a wee bit more I'm 
again on the outside and inside corners and up and uh, above the crease. And then back in with a lighter colour to blend that. I must say these shadows blend really quite well. Even if they are different colours to what they look like initially. Then I'm going to rub that brush off a wee bit on the towel that's on my lap and take a wee bit of the, the darkest brown and just pop a wee bit of that on the outer corner, the very outer, and on the inner. Then a wee bit up through the crease to join them. So back in with this brown, making a medium brown, and use that to blend that darker one. And then back in with the lighter colour. And I am aware that it looks like I've been punched in the eye, but as we say on YouTube, um, and in life, trust the process. <laughs> It'll come together. So just blend and blend and blend. I must admit, I don't have the huge amount of patience for blending. I like it when they, they blend really easily, so I don't need to spend too much time because I do have a toddler, so I don't always get a lot of time to sit and do my makeup. So if I'm wanting to do my makeup, I need to usually do it quite quick. <laughs> But he's away out with his dad today, so I've actually got some peace to get this done. So, how's this looking? I think I need a wee bit more here. A bit more of the darker one. Medium one, and then a layer one. So of course I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did prime with my Mac paint pot and um, soft ochre. I quite like it. Um, if I've got any oiliness or dryness on my lids, it, it sits funny. But when my lids are, are okay, it's, it works really well and the shadows blend really nicely on top of it. So here's where we're at now. I think I need to go in just a wee bit more of the medium brown just in that crease. Now, I do find because my kind of hoodie dyes, things do look quite muddy. It's quite hard for me to get eyeshadow looking nice sometimes, can it? At this bit where my skin's a wee bit saggier because <laughs> of my age. Then I'm just taking some of the medium one and just popping it in here. Okay, so that's how we're looking. I think it's looking all right. I'll just blend a wee bit more with this latest one. It's taking it all the way up to the brow that wasn't intentional but we'll go with it. I'll just put a bit of brow highlight on and I'll kind of hide it a bit. Or another trick that um, I learned is if your palette doesn't have a blending shade light enough just take some of like a face powder and just use that to diffuse the edges. I do this quite a lot because I'm quite pale so I do need quite a a light blending colour in a palette and that, that lightest one that's in this palette is actually a lot darker than it looks on my skin anyway. So sorry I've got a mirror over here that's why I'm looking down here though I've forgotten I've actually got this wee cat one which I got off eBay. So I think that's looking, it's looking all right. I'm going to put a wee bit more on this outer corner and possibly a wee bit more just here. So I'm going to just take a wee bit more, just place it here, and a wee bit more and place it down here. Okay, so that's how we're looking 
it's not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect at eyeshadow. I just have fun and enjoy it. Maybe if I had more time to practice, it would be, would be better. <laughs> so I'm now going to take a shimmer, I think. So I'm going to take this one here, which is called Yummy. I think this looks really pretty and the kind of nicest to go with these kind of plummy colours that are on. So I'm just going to use my finger and just pop that on the centre. And that is it's really pretty. I always use my finger for shimmers just because I think that... Um, they go on so much easier. I don't know if I've ever met a shimmer that goes on nicer with a brush than it does with your finger. I will use a brush sometimes if I'm doing a cut crease just to get the the neatness, but this is a kind of rough and ready kind of halo eye, so I don't feel like I need the precision at the top that a brush would give me. So I'm just going to put that on the center, just take it up a wee bit in the middle. And I've got that on where I want it, just going over it a few times just to make sure that it's it's sparkly. Now to me, I think this shade, I don't know if it's more of a, a topper shade, but it is super pretty and it's got some lovely kind of reflex in there. So I'm then going to start a wee bit of blend on the kind of the outer side of the shimmer. So again, I'm just taking that brown called three, 350 degrees. I don't know. And just placing that on here just to merge it with that shimmer. And the same on the inner corner. Do that blend. What I think I might actually do is take, this might be a mistake actually, Take a wee bit of stud muffin down here and use that to kind of blend that shimmer in. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. It's a wee bit more kind of blue. Yeah, I like that. So again, just a wee bit more of the lighter one called Yummy in the middle just to brighten that back up. And then a wee bit more of 360 just on the outer to blend it in. And then some more of the darkest one called Decadent on the very, very outside. And I'm sorry about this light and I had it perfect, but then the sun decided to come out and I'm in Scotland, so it's quite unusual for the sun to actually come out but there we go so that's how the eye is looking just now so i'm just going to go off camera stick some liner and some lashes on um probably do some more of my do my face makeup and then come back and we'll do the lower lash line so i'll see you in a wee bit all right so that's my face makeup done and now we're going to do the under eyes so I'm going to first take like a wee kind of flat liner brush. This again is an unnamed one from a Morphe set. And I'm going to take the darkest colour Decadent. I'm going to take that and that brush and I'm going to just press it up against a lower lash line. Not taking it all the way to the centre but nearly. Like so, just taking it all the way up here to join the top. I hate where I've put my lashes on badly. And then I'm going to take my little brush again, if I can find it. I do this every single time. Lose brushes, don't know where they go. And it's always that one brush because it's so small. I can't find it, so instead I'm going to take my Morphe M506 and take that middle colour and just use this to just blend that out just a little bit. Yeah, 
And then finally, I'm going to take the lightest colour that we used and just use that just to smudge it out, make it nice and smoky. I don't like my, my lower lash shadow blended down too, too much, but I think that's fine. Maybe just a wee bit more of the middle colour. That'll do, that's all that I kind of like to take it. But while we're here, we're going to highlight the brow bone and inner corner. So I think, I don't know what that one, that one, I think the second one, or it's got this one, which is super, super highlight. I think I'm going to take this one, this one called Cravens. Just take a wee bit on a brush and just pop a wee bit up here. Oh wow, yeah, that's um, pretty intense. <laughs> so I'm going to pop some there and then I'm also going to pop some in here on the inner corner. Again, I've got quite a big nose so I find it quite hard to highlight my, my inner corner but there you go, that's that done. So I'm just going to pop off again, do this eye, which will take me two seconds, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the, the look and my final thoughts on this wee palette. So here we are, final look. I did just throw on an eyeliner. It was one of the Lottie London ones in the colour Velvet, and I think it goes quite nicely, and of course just some lower lash mascara. So I also use my BH Belgian Waffle palette and the wee, um, vanilla cream truffle palette i used this shade down here just to keep it in the theme of beach cosmetics just dropped that i hope it's not broken so there we go it's the finished look i think it's quite quite vampy because i did pair it with the maybelline super straight matte ink in the shade lover it's one of my favorites from them i think it's a really nice color so what do we think? Kind of nice, vampy, quite dark. Um, excuse my hair as well. It's just so long and straight and flat. It drives, drives me mental. So, final look. I like it. I, I do really like this palette. Um, I think the colours maybe do look a wee bit different in real life than they do when you look at the pan. But I love this kind of berry lovely kind of look the shimmers in the palette are gorgeous and um, you'll have seen swatches at the start of the video so there's the finished look and um, please give me a big thumbs up i'd really appreciate it because it's my first my first video and um, where you can see me doing makeup my cat just destroying everything <laughs> um so give it a please give me a, a, a big thumbs up because I, I would really appreciate it and leave me a wee comment and just let me know if there's anything that you want to see next. If you want me to do another look on that palette, just let me know if you enjoyed my video and where I can go from here. So thanks for watching. Bye!